Um, Pat wanted me to strike with her. He wanted me to push off and, and box with her a little bit more. And he, he kept telling me between rounds to quit forcing the clinch. He's like, let her come in and, you know, make her pay for it. Stop doing that and start boxing. And, um, you know, I knew we were going back into it. So looking at him, I was like, sorry, this is happening again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Well, I mean, I haven't had a grindy fight like that. I, I mean, I don't feel like I've had a grindy fight like that for a while. You know, I've had a lot of different fights. The last two were full striking. You know, I feel like there was a whole lot of boxing in the last two. Um, you know, in this fight, I felt like it's what I had to do. Um, you know, I, I I do feel like my timing was off tonight with my hands. I felt like, um, you know, like I just couldn't find my groove when it came to my boxing tonight. So, you know, I went to plan B. <laughs> which was pushing her up against the cage and controlling her and just throwing the knees and the elbows and, you know, looking for it that way. She was very strong. She was a very strong opponent. No, you know, um, the, the footage I had seen on her, I think that she's improved her game. Like she's improved her game. She came out with, I think, more striking. Um, she had a weird rhythm about her that, for me, I think I had a hard time getting a read on her. You know, I, I had a hard time finding my rhythm because of her rhythm, you know, so... Um, you know, she just, it was different than what I had in my head of how it was going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my coaches are going to give me a whole list of things to work on after this one. Um, you know, like, normally, Junior, um, he tells me that he, cornering me is like playing a video game where he just yells and I do. And I know that's not how this one went. I know that, you know, like, as you guys saw, I was looking at Pat and Junior saying sorry and, you know, it was one of those fights that it just, it did, I, I couldn't, they couldn't push the buttons right, you know, or I, I couldn't make my little character move the way that they were trying to get me to, you know, it was just one of those nights, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of kicked off my camp, I guess, with the finish of her camp. Um, you know, it, it, it was really, really good to get out there and feel my strength against, you know, another woman of her caliber. Um, Shannon Sims was at, out there at the same time who also fought on this card, so I got to work with Shannon a little bit too. Um, you know, I, I picked up quite a bit from her coaches out there too, uh, um, some techniques that I implemented um, throughout my camp and things like that. So, you know, just different technique, different feel, going against somebody like her really helps me gauge where I am. Um, you know, she's strong and extremely technical and mean, and, you know, like to be able to, uh, to, to hold my own against somebody like Kat to the best of my ability, you know, that, that, that gives me some confidence, you know, for my next fight. Um, either one, really. They're both really good fights, tough fights. I, it's been a lot longer since I fought Roxanne than it's been since I fought Porto. Um, so I think, you know, she's in the States now. She's training under John Wood. She's improved her game quite a bit. So I think, you know, I expect her to be a completely different fighter than the one I fought the first time. I think that would be a more interesting fight for me. Um, that said, you know, Porto's tough. Getting through Porto is hard. A lot of girls haven't done it. So, um, you know, I, it could very easily be Vanessa, you know. So either one, either one I would rematch gladly. Że wątpliwości zawsze się pojawiają, ale, ale no, mój narożnik, mój trener krzyczał, że wygrałam, więc wierzyłam, że wygrałam. I always have, uh, she always has, has doubts when it's come to the, the decision, but uh, her coach uh, to told her that uh, she wants so she, uh, she believe in that. Uh, since uh, since uh, she gets the news that she will fight Mizuki, every night she visualize, visualize uh, imagine that fight. And uh, the, it was pretty more or less uh, the same as, as she imagined. Uh, and uh, she knew that it would be the toughest fight of her life, and uh, it was. Yeah, the reason, I mean, I, I was, I've been trying to get fights over the last, you know, I fought last August, and since then I've had like five or six fights fought through. I, I want to stay at 35, but um, the only fight that I could get was at 45. She didn't want to cut to 35, and then, I mean, this one, you know, it was late notice, and um, that was one of the things that I wanted to do was get bigger and stronger over the last couple of years. So I, I, I'm walking around at a higher weight, so it was going to be hard for me to make 35 in eight days. So, but I, I definitely plan to, to get back to 35. Um, 
I feel like I ha- I can take a punch. Um, it didn't really phase me. I think that I'm a very sometimes I'm a slow starter, uh, and it, that's shown a lot in my previous fights. But I think what I've worked on over the last two and a half years since you guys saw saw me is just rounding out my game, and you know that's my mental game, my gr- my ground game, everything. So I was really calm. Um, you know, to be able to come back from a beating like that in the first round, I think that says a lot about. Um, you know, the changes that I've made and, you know, my, my head was straight that, you know, even my, I could hear my dad and my, you know, my other corner, they were like yelling, like, you know, listen, listen. I'm like, dad, just, I'm trying to gather myself a little bit, but you know, I I was fine. I I, I didn't, I mean, she was hitting me with some hard punches, but I was able to keep my cool. Um, My whole thing is like, I'm, I'm always training, you know, so you stay ready. You don't have to get ready. That That's how I feel. So, um, I mean, but taking, you know, a fight against Caitlin, I knew that it was going to be tough, but I kind of just had my trainers and my training partners, you know, just figure out what are the few things I needed to watch out for. And that's all we did for the last eight days. We just drilled that, controlled my weight. You know, morning and night, we just went in and drilled. That's all we did was drill and drill and drill. And apparently it was not what she was going to do. So, you know, I expected her to throw more kicks and, you know, I'd planned to catch the kicks, take her down, but, you know, she made it tough for me in the first round. I was just trying to figure out, like, crap, how am I going to close the distance to take her down or even just, you know, closing the distance to try and strike. So, I mean, uh, first round was a little tough, but I could have figured it out after that. Um, I, I don't, you know, well, I'll answer the second question first. I'm winning tonight, obviously, I really needed it. But um, I, I feel like I've had a layoff, but I've been competing a lot, like, I mean, it's no secret, all my losses were by submission. So the last two and a half years, all I did was put the gi on. Um, I competed a lot. I did, like, a lot of the IBJJF tournaments. And um, so just strictly the last two and a half years, that's what I did. I had one fight, but um, I, I've been competing a lot. So I don't feel like not fighting all this time um, affected me because I've still, you know, I think competing, it, it, you deal with the same nerves. And, you know, sometimes you're having five or six match. You know, I've had up to nine matches in a day you know, at these tournaments. So it's like dealing with all those um, emotions helped me a lot. It actually helped me more than it hurt me. I mean, it it was a horrible first round, but, you know, we'll work on that, you know, being a better starter. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I got in the cage, so it probably affected me a little bit. I need to get in the groove again, you know. I want to stay busy, so that probably had a little bit of effect, even though I think I did a good job. Uh, Winning was amazing. I'm happy I finally got to have my Invicta debut, and it meant the world. Um, I felt like I was in control immediately. Um, I knew that I needed to go out there and, and make a statement and stand my ground because I knew that she was super aggressive. Um, I felt early on that I was in control and um, that I could I could pretty much dictate what I wanted to do. You know what, it's an honor to fight such a warrior, you know, and, and um, I, I feel honored every time I'm able to step in the Invicta cage with, with such a great organization and Shannon, and and um, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to compete with her before she retired. Thanks. With Mike Winklejohn and, and Greg Jackson and Brandon Gibson and, and Keith Jardine, you know, um, we kind of put our heads together and made a good game plan. It's hard not to try to meet aggression with aggression, but that's not always the answer. You know, you got to fight smart, and, and um, I feel like I was able to do that. Um, fighting with aggression and fighting with control, I felt like I just needed to fight with control and pick my shots and, and stand my ground, and I felt like I did that early on, and that's what was the – to t- take that right from the beginning was the plan. Um, yeah, I did. You know, every time that, uh, you get in the cage, you want to, you want to learn something new about yourself or, or evolve as a fighter because all these females that we have in this, in this great organization are getting better every single day. So if you're not getting better, you're going to get left behind. So, um, I try to take down, you know, like the boxer, right, is trying to evolve her game and, and, and find this takedown and land it. And I was like, oh, so that's what it's about. You know, so, so that that's kind of cool. That that was kind of fun, and and um, I'm excited to just learn and and start evolving. I feel like I'm just on this fast track of of bettering myself as a fighter, and I'm really excited. You 
I, I, yes. I, I, I. Um, I believe that my control and my focus go hand in hand and I've really been trying to, um, work on my focus and, and control. And, and I knew that the second you lose control against somebody that's very aggressive, sometimes that's a downward spiral, spiral that you can't get out of. So I knew that was, that was a very dangerous thing to, to lose control of here in this fight against her. And I felt like I was able to stand my ground on that. Thank you. You know, you can never tell what the judge is, but, uh, I felt like I I won in the striking aspect, you know, for even off my back and standing, you know, uh, so I beat her up, you know, I went in there and I just striking really, she got those takedowns. So you never really know what the judges, but I won off the striking for sure. So uh, she's uh, always very emotional about uh, fighting and uh, very emotional about uh, stepping into the cage. Uh, it's every fight is uh, fulfilling her dreams. Uh, she dream about uh, fighting, and so that's why she is uh, very emotional, uh, both before and uh, after the fight. Okay. Well, I know that they're all tired because they fought really hard tonight. So we'll wrap it up and just say once again, thank you very much for coming out and supporting us here at Invicta. All right. Mm.